look, isn't this how you always wanted to see your daughter? My mom and dad are watching. Look at Stepford wife. I've got Cheddar Bay biscuits for everyone. Yeah. Um, I love them. That's the first thing that I pick up when I go to the Red Lobster. Aren't they delish? Yeah. Well, our first guest is a, is a self, and I did bring the hot sauce, by the way, <laughs> the fatty that I am. Our first guest is a self-proclaimed copycat. His cookbook is called America's Most Wanted Recipe, and it's filled with all these secret recipes from the restaurants that we love. Please welcome to the show, Ron Douglas. Yes. Here. Oh, I'm not gonna Come on, let's get to the eating. Yeah, I believe I'm on to Wendy. Oh, thank you, Ron. Big so, fan. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of food and all these restaurants. <laughs> Guess what's in here? Along with the Cheddar Bay biscuits, which, P.S., what is this recipe? Oh, uh, well, the real secret to that recipe is mild cheddar cheese. It's really easy to make. I've been making it for years, and with that cookbook, you know, it shows you step by step how to do it yourself at home. Okay, and there's something else in here before we get to the KFC secret recipe. Um, if you love hula hands like I love, uh, is it hula hands? No, Houston's like I love Houston's. The first thing you order is what? The spinach dip. Learn to make it. Okay. So now look, let's start the cooking. And there's right. grease. Come on, let's tell us what we're doing. Go ahead. You claim that you figured out the Colonel's recipe. Yes, I'm going to take you through it first. Buttermilk. Okay. <laughs> Believe it's it or not. Cup of buttermilk. Mm. Pour that in. And I'm going to get you to help me with this, so now, I'm going to you how to make it also. Uh, Come on, you got to. Yeah. <laughs> One egg. Ahead. The buttermilk, the eggs, egg. chicken dredging. Right. Why don't you pour that flour in there? What, where's the flour? Right here. Just dump it in there. Okay. You can do it, Wendy. I get nervous. No, 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 oh. no. <laughs> well, it. That's why the recipe doesn't turn out. <laughs> no, but you want to know what? There are 11 herbs and spices, the colonel says. How many do you have here? Two, four, six? Eleven. Okay. It's here. taken me years to figure out how to make this recipe, and I started out on my um, website, RecipeSecrets.net. Uh-huh. And ahead, it's really continue. a collective effort between uh, me and the people on my website. They will provide feedback, and it needs more of this, less of this. So, um, you want to help, help make it? Okay. No, I want to look okay. in your book. Look, you no, know, you keep call, you keep cooking. Go. Okay, so Outbacks, honey wheat, uh, bushman bread. Don't you love that when you go to Outback? This book is great. Do you get grief from any of these restaurants? Come on, cook, cook, cook. Well, I don't claim that these are the restaurant recipes. I claim that these are my version okay. of the restaurant recipes. Keep it going. And uh, you know, I don't go to steal their secret cookbooks from their you know back kitchen or something. Uh -huh. You know, this is like a collective effort between me and the people on my website. We came up with these dishes through trial and error over the years. And, uh, you know, right now I'm putting the 11 herbs and spices in. Jack and, um, Daniels dipping sauce oh, from yeah, TGI Fridays. Right? All right. I'll, I'll just call off the 11 herbs and spices so the people at home know what they are. You know, oregano, chili powder, dried sage, basil, marjoram, pepper, salt, paprika, onion salt, garlic powder, and accent. The Keep key going. ingredient is really accent. Accent is the key yeah. ingredient? Because of that gummy texture. And really what that is is MSG. MSG. Yeah. A little bit won't kill you. No. And everyone knows that's what they use in the uh, yeah. restaurant. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Keep it going. Okay. Taco Bell's Beef Chalupa Supreme. I love that. The dog passed away. You heard that? Oh. Yeah. No, keep going. Look, look, so I heard that you had a friend that worked at KFC, and you tried to bribe the friend for the secret recipe. Yeah. My kind of guy. Yeah, my brother had a, a friend that, um, that worked there, and, I, you know, I was jokingly offering him $100, but they don't know what the recipe is. Obviously, uh, it would be out if they did. It comes all prepackaged, so you have to, you know, do it trial and error like, like I did. Or you could buy this cookbook, and the recipe's right there. Yeah. My, version, oh. my version of the recipe. You know what? The soup Nazi from Seinfeld, he makes this uh, cream of sweet potato soup. That's in there also. All right, what do you all want right. me to do? I'm ready. So we fold this all in. This is so great. Let's start the frying. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to dip the chicken in the egg mixture. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure and Then it's we're going to coat it with the uh, flour and spice mixture. Okay. And then we're going to put it in the Go ahead. Frying pan. Go ahead. You do it. Okay. I'm over here. Go. <laughs> sure you don't want to do it? No. All right. America, there are two things I promised myself um, in getting in front of you on this show. One, I would never eat chicken on TV, and the other, I would never eat watermelon on TV. <laughs> However, 
We know each other well enough now. I don't mind the chicken. Okay. Why isn't it sizzling and popping? It will. How do you, it's what are these contraptions here, and what should you be cooking it in? Because well, I see that pressure cooker over there. Well, well, the real secret to KFC, if you ever go to the restaurant, they have these high-powered industrial pressure fryers. All right, and this is an example of an at-home pressure fryer, but right now we're just using it, you know, and we're just using a pot and a pan to do it with some grease in it. Okay. So it won't come out with that gummy texture unless okay. you have the uh, pressure fryer, which is like $300 or something. Okay. So now, now which, uh, what, which one of these recipes is the most difficult in your book to follow, do you think? To follow? Yeah. Um, well, the KFC, because you need a lot of different spices, I would say. Um, the Oreo cookie cheesecake from the Cheesecake Factory. Oh, we like that. Come on, keep yeah, going, keep going. All right, up. now, what is this right here? We have two plates. Yes. Talk to me about what's going on in each plate while you fry more. Uh, that's the uh, chicken. It's already been cooked. And um, the Red Lobster Cheddar Bay Biscuits, which is also in the cookbook. Okay. And these are both your recipes? Yes. Can I share with somebody? Is that going to throw off the whole schematics of this entire segment? Oh, go for it. Go for Rob? Okay. Jennifer? Come. <laughs> Do you like hot sauce? I will today. All right. Well, you're not Mike, so don't talk. Okay. Just smile if you love it. Okay. I can't. My mouth is going to water horribly. <laughs> I'm going to eat this like a wild animal when we go to the commercial, though. Both of these recipes, the Cheddar Bay as well as the chicken, are available at wendyshow.com. And everyone in the audience is going to get a, how was it? Going to get a copy of Ron's cookbook. Up next, the hilarious comedian Graham Norton joins me.